Hey all, hope you're keeping well. I've uh, tried another distro, but this time I think I'm staying. I've currently installed Pop OS Cosmic Beta. So I shall keep that until the final release, which I think is December the 12th. But anyhow, I thought I would install Affinity Studio on it using the Python installer and do a little bit of a stress test and show you just how well it is working. So what I've done here, if you see this image selected, I've copied that to my desktop and that is a 610 megabyte file from my Fuji 100 megapixel camera. So it's massive and I've loaded that into Affinity just to show you how well it copes with it even though it's running through a wine compatibility layer just to show you like just because it's through wine it's not all slow and groggy unusable it's working really well so let me just maximize it here here's the image and that's currently at 24 percent so if i zoom right in you can see you can make the detail of this camera this is i absolutely love this camera but yeah this just shows you that I'm using something very processor GPU intensive and it's coping absolutely fine so if I was to just hit the brush button and paint away over it there's zero lag so if you're wanting to run affinity but skeptical about it being through wine it is it's excellent so I'm just going to undo that for a start Go back there. So, right, if we switch to another window, I'm still learning the shortcuts. So, it's they call it Meta, I think the Windows key, don't they, on Pop? So, Meta W to choose another desktop to workspace two. So, how I installed this for best performance is I used the Affinity on Linux by Ryzen Do. And I used a Python installer which installs all the dependencies. And this is the best way to do it to get your graphics card working well. So this is the installer here. You basically copy this command into terminal and it launches this one click installer here. But because we're on Debian or Debian, as someone corrected me the other day in the comments, um i had to install the system dependencies first here so i didn't use the one click full setup on debian because it needed like dotnet 48 so it's better to go through these one by one and do it but once it's up and running it's probably the best distro i've installed it on um the specification of the machine i'm using it on is a it's got an nvidia geforce 1660 so this computer is about five years old so just say a mid-range nvidia card and the intel i7 9700 i think this is for cores with dual threads from memory but um long story short i generally work on the mac but I also have a PC because I used to have a printing shop and I've got more computers than I need right now. But I was, my earlier videos, I was testing on my laptops. But I've decided to take the plunge and bring both my PC and Mac into the house because they are the most powerful computers I have and I want to use them for testing. So, anyhow, the point being that it's a mid to decent PC from five years ago. And I'm running Affinity on Linux via Wine, and I'm loading a 610 megabyte RAW file. Well, it was a RAW, now it's a TIFF, which is even bigger, and it's working absolutely fine. So, if it can run this, anyone who wants to use it for general desktop publishing or photo retouching, graphic design, they're going to have zero problems if they install it with the Python method i have done the other two methods as a test so there's there's the python installer as mentioned there's another installer which installs via lutris the game manager 
that works okay but the graphics card doesn't seem to work with OpenCL in my limited testing and then you've got the one download affinity on Linux app image which you can download and run and that works as well but that also doesn't give you the OpenCL graphics processing so I've done it through the Python GUI installer which is a little bit longer but that gave me the best graphics performance so hopefully someone will find that helpful and yeah pop os cosmic is pretty cosmic man so i'll leave you on that note if you want to see some of my linux adventures and what i test in the future then please hit subscribe i'm on a mission to uh get linux more suitable for creatives i'm following the raw editor rapid raw and i'm sort of giving feedback comments i'm bugging the guy who's doing the inkscape cmyk coding to make sure he puts crop marks bleeds and all the options because i'm kind of like i want linux to become so usable for creatives that i can drop my mac in a few years i say this probably every video now but it's true linux is literally the open source mac os but it doesn't have enough creative apps yet it's about 70 percent there but i've i've got high hopes for it in the future it reminds me a bit of mac os like 2005 when it was great to use but it didn't have all the apps we wanted very similar vibe is going on with linux at the moment and um, I also saw the Linus who created Linux on the Linus Tech Tips podcast the other day. And Linux just everywhere is getting, a, getting more acknowledgement and coverage now. So, yeah, bright things are coming, I think. So, anyhow, that's enough rambling for today. And I'll catch you soon.